That's some off Green Street. All right, Paul. Now then YouTube, welcome back to another video. We're in North Wales. I've come to the coast for a wild camp. So I'm at this dock where there's a load of load of old boats as you can see. I'm not sure where to camp. I'm gonna have a look about. I think I'm gonna head somewhere over there on that flat grass. Can't get over this location. Tents pitched up, pretty nice. Pretty stealthy as well. Against that little tree. Well, more of a bush. Let's see what scram we got for today. Got my coffees as usual. Chicken tikka and rice. Sticky toffee pudding. New stove. Soto Windmaster. Tents blending in well. So that way there's just hills. Hills and woodland, and I'm packed in just a little village up there. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. 
Just waiting for my food to warm up. Sun's going down. Look at the sky as well. Beautiful. That's my scrum ready. I can already tell by the smell that it's going to be beautiful. Mm. Bon appetit. I've just had my tea, chicken tikka and rice, they're really nice actually, so I might have my pudding soon, maybe, just enjoying sunset at the moment. So earlier I went to visit a place called Flint Castle, a couple of miles further towards England, on coast, I'd look round but you couldn't really get in, it was closed. Typically. So, Flint Castle. Edward I came to the throne in 1272. He was a seasoned military leader and determined to have a stronger control of Wales than his weaker father, Henry III. In 1277, he gathered a massive army in Chester and marched into Wales to fight some geezer that I can't pronounce. Following his victory, he consolidated his position by building castles along the Welsh coast. See, you learn something every day. So 1277, look at that. Old bit of gear, that. I wonder if it looked knackered. It's weird, because I'm talking to you here, but what I'm actually looking at, wow. You know what I'm saying? You having a bit of that or what? This is definitely one of my favourite locations so far. Just how calm it is. Not even had to do a hard walk to get here either. Like I said, car's just in a village up there. I just had to walk for 20 minutes or so. Well, first solo trip to Wales and treating me well so far. There are many more to come, hopefully. Sticky toffee pudding for dessert. Right, I'll catch up with you in the morning. Peace out. Just what I fucking need. Morning YouTube, cracking night's sleep again, 
so calm, not a breath of wind. You can't beat those nights where you don't even need to get in the sleeping bag, you just unzip it, just lie on top of your mat, chuck sleeping bag over you. Happy days. I did hear a fox or something last night going mental. So I had to shout at one point. I was like, Oi! and then I didn't hear it again, so it must have scarpered, thankfully, because I couldn't have slept if it were doing that noise all night. Right, that's me. So that's where I was. Leave no trace, all that good shit. Best head back to the car. So we've got to go across where all those boats were and then up into them trees somewhere. And you've got to go under bridge, past railway, and then up into some village. Let's hope I can remember where I parked my car. <laughs> and I will. Right, peeps, we're going through Green Street Tunnel again. Stevie Dunham, back in the Abbey after all these years. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. If you like the video, press like, drop us a comment, click subscribe, click that bell notification to get notified when I do these videos. And that's it from me. Thank you all again, appreciate it, I really do, in a bit.